Boeing will be restarting the flight test program for the 777X. This comes after the company grounded its four testing airframes in August 2024 due to an issue with the type's thrust links, a component that is designed to carry the thrust load of the engine safely to the airframe at the pylon. The 777X program is already years behind schedule and has resulted in Boeing customers changing or delaying their fleet modernization strategies to account for the delays. According to a report by Aviation Week, Boeing was prepared to resume flight testing of the 777X, with the first flight said to be as soon as January 15th, a date that has come and gone. At the time of making this video, this test flight has taken place. Boeing had suspended its 7779 testing and certification campaign after it found severed thrust links on test aircraft in August 2024. As noted by John Ostrower of the Air Current, after a test flight in Hawaii, Boeing discovered one of the aircraft's engine thrust links was completely severed while others were found to be cracked on other test aircraft. And so none of the four 7779 test aircraft have flown since September 2024, with Boeing's last pre-grounding 7779 flight taking place on September 8, 2024, when it ferried November 779 X-ray Yankee to the U.S. mainland from Hawaii. Pre-grounding the last flights of November 779 X-ray X-ray and November 779 X-ray Whiskey took place on August 9 and 12, 2024, respectively. November 779 X-ray Zulu has not operated a flight since November 2021. Boeing told Simple Flying that it had replaced the damaged thrust links and had been capturing any learnings from the component. At the end of October 2024, Boeing announced that the 777-9's entry into service date, initially scheduled for 2020 and delayed numerous times, was again being pushed back to 2026. Additionally, the 777-8F's entry into service was pushed back to 2028. Before the thrust link issue, Boeing had been progressing with the type certification. In July 2024, after securing the type inspection authorization or TIA for the 777, it began flight tests with Federal Aviation Administration or FAA representatives on board. As is stated by the FAA, having a TIA is, quote, used to authorize official conformity, airworthiness inspections, and flight tests necessary to fulfill certain requirements for type certificate, supplemental type certificate, amended type certificate, and amended supplemental type certificate certification. For the 777X, Boeing will amend the existing 777 type certificate to include the 7779, as it is stated to be a, quote, derivative of the Boeing Model 777 airplane currently approved by the FAA. Before the thrust link issue, Boeing had anticipated that the 777 would enter service sometime this year. Are you looking forward to the 777 attaining regulator certification and entering service? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.